Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Hope you get real comfortable here. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, and those who choose to subscribe and help me grow. If you want to book a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in the description box. So let's get into it. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We're tapping into different energies here. So not everything is going to fit. But I feel like, uh, you know, even though this is going to be a timeless reading, a lot of the eclipse energy, <laughs> we got some intense emotions running high around this time period. I'm feeling like a lot of people are trying to tap into your energy. Number one, a lot of you guys aren't easily forgotten. And as we're moving through this Libra eclipse energy, where it's highlighting what we do and do not want in relationships, there's a lot of people from your past realizing that, you know, you were a want <laughs> in their relationships. Or some of you guys are trying to release certain people and certain thoughts, maybe cord cutting, and that's causing them to chase you in the astral plane. I feel like a lot of you guys can feel different people's energy in your dream, you know, from the past, the present, <laughs> you know, in the future. There's a lot of people who are fiending for your energy right now, pulling on your energy right now. We'll use the What's the Vibe Terror deck. That's, that's fun. Do, 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 do. Let's see what the vibe. What else does my collective need to hear right now? What else does my collective need to hear right now? What else does my collective need to hear right now? get away, relax, and have fun. See, a lot of you guys are exploring the different relationships that no longer suit you. Some of you guys are literally planning for a vacation um, to go somewhere, get away, relax, have fun. You might be being told to have fun. I feel like some of you guys might be feeling some of this intense energy. It could be very irritable towards you, depending upon where your Libra falls you know, what house it falls in, especially if it's in like the seventh house, it would depend. What else does my collective need to hear right now? Soulmate, twin flame, friendship, romantic partner. There's people right now who are feeling like you might be their twin flame, even though they're not that energy for you. You know, a lot of you guys have, you have healing energy and you have like a difference to you. A lot of you guys are very otherworldly and you might send people through some sort of spiritual awakening when they meet you. And I'm seeing even the smallest conversations, there might even be people from your childhood that still think about you. They still want a relationship with you. They still wonder where you've been and how you've been and what's going on with you now. You might not even remember or notice some of these people, but they still notice you. There's also energy here of like a romantic partner feeling like they're your soulmate. That and this uh, cycle might be telling you to release those relationships that are only in your head and to focus on what's happening right now. We got, yeah, I was just saying, release some of those relationships. We got two-faced, double life, cheater, backstabber. Some of you guys are going to be experiencing um, I'm not going to say it's not tower moments, but you're going to be basically 
if you don't end this relationship, the cosmos might. I feel like a lot of you guys might, some of you guys might be with partners just to be with partners. And you're wondering, you know, if it's worth it to stay with this person when this person cheated. Some of you guys, like they cheated and you can't forgive them. And this is causing a lot of back and forth. I'm feeling, and some of you guys are wondering about cheating because you don't have that same, oh, this is strong, hold on. Yeah, I had to snuff out some of that smoke. Yes, some of you guys might be thinking about stepping out on your partner because it's like either you, you've been accused too much or the passion is not the same. So you guys might be thinking about um, going and finding it, it somewhere else. Also, some of you guys are, you're, you're going to have to release those relationships where someone might be with someone else and you still have thoughts and fantasies about them leaving the other person. Spirit might be asking you to Take a breather from these situations. Spirit, tell me more. What else? And this also could be someone who cheated on you. That's, a, that's the heavy energy right here that wants you back. And they are definitely regretting the decision they made to cheat on you in the first place. Hiding, concealing, deception. We got masks. Hiding, concealing, and deception. So I guess it's to be aware about people who are masking themselves right now. I'm feeling like a lot of these masks are going to be pulled off around this time in this energy period or someone from your past. They regret masking their emotions for you. Somebody could have masked their emotions because, huh, huh. Maybe you guys work together or maybe they were afraid of what people might think of you. Some of you guys like, oh, you got like a lot of people are after you. So this person felt like they couldn't keep up with that competition. So they kind of and not only that, this person just are they're mad. They didn't listen to their true emotions for you and they didn't give you the relationship that you were looking for. And a lot of them are also realizing you weren't looking for much, really. Like a lot of you guys aren't like, you know, you're not necessarily gold diggers. You might demand respect. You might demand people treat you right. But this person, it's like they didn't even, they could have even want to jump in 18 plus energy with you a little too soon. I'm saying also this person is being reprimanded by other people around them for the way they treated you. And some of these people could have lied on you and lied on your name. Some of these people might have even like cut you cold and told you that they had another partner because, you know, you didn't give in to them. It's like they are truly deeply regretting how they treated you in this time period. And then, you know, some of you guys, you got a light, you know, you got a light to the fifth dimension <laughs> and people subconsciously want to follow you to the fifth dimension. And these are different energies that are pulling on you at this time period. Spirit, tell me more. We got tension. See, yeah, this is some of the intense energy you might be feeling. A lot of this energy is going to be alleviated after the 25th, like around the, what is it, uh, maybe the 26th or whatnot. You'll start feeling some more relief around that time period. This could definitely be the full moon or, you know, the eclipse that's got you a little stressed out. migraines worry we're gonna of course clarify these cards this wanted to come out suffering in silence real life feelings broken dreams yeah somebody feels like you know this i don't know i feel like this kind of goes with that mask energy you got somebody suffering in silence over what they did and didn't say towards you I feel like a lot of you guys can feel this energy. You might have fully released this person. This person ha isn't yet ready to release you. We're going to get some tarot cards and clarify this. 
Spirit, please clarify, vacay. Spirit, please clarify, vacay. We got compromise, resolving dispute, cooperation, tension, release, peace, avoiding conflict and solutions. So yeah, somebody wants to relax and go. They wish they were on vacation with you. That or there's something about your life feeling like a vacation. Like, you know, so somebody definitely wants to resolve a dispute with you. They want some sort of compromise here. And I'm getting that this isn't just like, huh, it's not just um, romantic energy. For a lot of you guys, this is an old friend that wants you back. Spirit, please clarify, soulmate. Spirit, please clarify, soulmate. Spirit, please clarify, soulmate. Spirit, please clarify, soulmate. Mental agility, fairness, inspiration, confidence, uh, communication, curiosity, chatty, witty, new ideas. Somebody's missing the conversations they had with you. The conversations they had with you, they flowed really easily. This person felt like they could tell you anything. Every all the other conversations that they have so far, it seems like, you know, people are either running game on them or huh, like they're trying to impress them or they're trying to compete with them. If this is a friend trying to make other friends, they're running into conversations where instead of people saying congratulations, they're trying to one-up them. They're like, oh, you just got that? Well, I'm getting something even bigger. And you know, this person misses your congratulations. Not only that, uh, they miss your ideas. And just like, you know, your silliness. Some of you guys said really surprising things. And a lot of you guys are really smart. Maybe some of these people relied on you for advice and whatnot. Spirit, please clarify Two-Face. Oh, <laughs> love it when it does that. We got responsibility, responsibility, duty, feeling burdened, exhausted, hard work, losing cons, uh, concentration. Somebody's finding it hard to keep up their double life here. I don't, this, huh. If this is you, Collective, it might be telling you this time to uh, stop trying to please people and be two different people for everybody. You can't really please everybody. If this is somebody else who's putting on a facade and living a double life, this is wearing down on them. And they want to come and talk to you about it. I feel like if this, some of you guys might have had a friend this could be a friend, a family member, you know, take it where it resonates. But somebody had a friend that they refused to do anything about their situation, but they came to you a lot about their double life. Oh, I don't want to be here. Maybe like, I don't want to be in nursing school. I really want to be someone else. But now I'm stuck here because my mom wants me to do this or my mom wants me to do that. And my dad wouldn't approve. Or if I did this, my husband wouldn't like it. And they often live two different sides. They felt like with you, they could be their authentic self but with other people they had to put on this facade this facade is becoming way too much for them and this person is about to have like some sort of mental breakdown and some of this could be like it could be karma because maybe this person wasn't necessarily there for you if you uh, had some sort of breakdown struggle, hard work, losing concentration. This person is not able to uh, concentrate at work. They're not able to concentrate on building the life that they want. And if they are in this certain lifestyle, they just really don't like it. If they're in a marriage, they married some, they might have married someone knowing they didn't like that person, but they felt obligated to marry this person because they got a kid by this person. That's energy that's coming through here. Some of you guys could be uh, single parents and you did it on your own, even though, you know, I don't advocate for single parenthood, but if you have to, you have to. Some of these people might admire the fact that you got out of a relationship with the person, whether they, 
you had a kid by them or not. And um, they might want that same type of strength that you have to face other people and their opinions. Spirit, please clarify mass. Yeah, this is death mass and two-faced. Oh, uh, Spirit, please clarify mass. Yeah, they're being masked and it's causing a lot of disharmony. They feel like their whole world is upside down. Things are not where they need to be for this person. This person is, oh, they're going through it. <laughs> Deception, yeah. Yeah, disharmony, shortcuts, delays, fear of travel, deficiency, lack completion and just emptiness they feel like they built this life but it's not a life they want so they're just suffering and feeling like they're empty spirit give me more spirit give me more what what does tension mean what is this tension what is this tension what is this tension spirit please clarify the tension card oh Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, we got problems with business, broken promises. We got the King of Wands in reverse. Broken promises, forceful, domineering, disrespectful, impulsive, bad temper. Somebody is dealing with a lot of tension with a King of Wands in their household. Somebody realizes that this person is a King of Wands and it's less like someone who they should have married, like, you know, <laughs> but they did anyway. Also, there could be someone dealing with problems within their business, broken promises, forceful domineering. Somebody isn't upholding their part of a business or partnership here. This person might have uh, be in regret because they could have released you and you were doing more than your part in your in this business, but this person just felt like more of a connection with this other person for whatever reason. They just felt, I don't know, maybe that person felt like they were cooler than you. They just, or they knew that person for longer. This person is now wishing they had you to go into business with. A lot of these people are masked and they're not going to tell you this. Some people here, um, you know, but think about who you dream about because you might have saw certain people in your dreams, problem with businesses, broken promises. And then we got emotional detachment here. Emotional detachment, heavily anxiety, too much information, mental turmoil. Yeah, a lot of you guys are on some sort of information diet. I'm saying a lot of people just don't want to talk to anybody around this time period. I'm hearing just leave me alone. Like I'm seeing somebody with their headphones on. They don't, you know, don't want to be bothered with anybody when they go anywhere. And that's fine right now. A lot of you guys are healing and you're reconnecting uh, with source. I feel like that's it. I'm going to pull some angel numbers. Then we're going to close this reading out. This is a nice short reading on a Saturday night. I was going to do a little picture. Bear, give me the best but... angel numbers for this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. We got the Ace of Clubs. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. We got the Two of Spades and the Five of uh, Clubs. So one, two, five. One, two, five is the angel number. Let me look it up. Okay, it says angel number one, two, five is the message to stay optimistic and positive about the life changes you are currently considering and or experiencing. These changes are necessary and will prove that and will prove to be most beneficial as they will usher in positive energies and new inspiration that will see you taking on new and or different projects and ventures. Your faith, trust, positive attitude, and high expectations will help transition to be harmonious and hassle-free, adapt to changes with acceptance, gratitude, and grace. Angel number 125 is a message that what you have going 
that what you are going through right now is happening for a good reason. So trust that all will turn out for your highest good. You may be prompted to begin a new venture that will be faithful for you, that will be uh, fruitful, that will be fruitful for you in the long term. Follow your intuitive and angelic guidance and take necessary steps. Angel number one, okay, that's just, is also equals eight. This is one plus two plus five equals eight, number eight. So yeah, fruitful and abundance. <laughs> All right, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was a nice short reading. I'll probably take a little break tomorrow I feel like, you know, um, clearing my energies out and I will see you next time. Hopefully have a good one.